Good morning everybody, this is Elias Hariri with you, our English class, grade 8, unit 10, back home in Palestine. Today we have page 32. At the beginning, let's start with the revising the new words. We have five pictures here, and I need you to guess which picture, <coughs> the meaning of each picture. The first one, crop, and the second one here, and this is the second one hotel the third one construct and here this place the red we call it area and the last one the last one here in the sea inside the sea it is deep okay also here we have six pictures i need you to revise them uh, the meaning of each picture according to our last lesson the first one is various we have various fruits the second one tower tall building tower the third one is a human being here we have man woman child children we call them human being and this man who work in a farm is farmer and this picture shows a farm and these people who go to visit uh, places for a pleasure we call them visit or visit uh, tourists tourist or tourists okay now here we have some definitions i need you everybody to tell me um, the definition of each one a tall narrow building where can be used to guide the ship or other people what do we call it tower course a journey number two a journey for pleasure in which several different places are visiting uh, visited we call it tour number three a man woman or a child who has a mind and distinguished from other people or other animal what do we call them we call them a human being and number five four a place where a traveler or a tourist can take rest meal and other services what do we call it a place where you can go and take rest it's a hotel hotel and the last one a part of the room town country or the world a part of the room what do we call it area now let's come to the second exercise here on our page page 32 period number five we have the first exercise look at the picture and tell me say what the pictures show what the pictures show here we have three pictures this is the first picture is cable car dear Co uh, corental number two the second picture wadi al kult and the third picture is the ancient city walls now number two read the title of the web page and say what city this probably is what city this probably is what which city we are talking about it is jericho and why do we call it the second name why do we uh, guess why it has the second this second name palm tree because it has a lot of palm trees or they planted a lot of palm trees now we come to our lesson the city of palm trees let's listen to the conversation uh, to the passage period five activity three the city of palm trees Jericho is a small city which stands in a deep valley between Jerusalem and Amman near the Dead Sea. This is a famous salt lake that is 400 meters below sea level and is the lowest place on earth. Jericho is most popular with tourists in the warm winter months. There are hotels for these visitors and a lot of the people who live there work in tourism. Farming is also very important in this area. 
With large quantities of water and a warm climate, this part of Palestine is an excellent place to grow bananas and various other fruit and vegetable crops, including, of course, dates from all the palms. With its water and warm climate, human beings first started visiting the area 12,000 years ago. There were many people who chose to remain, and they became some of the world's first farmers. These were also the people that 500 years later constructed the first city in the world. Later, it had a high tower and stone walls which were almost four meters high. Tourists love seeing those walls today. They are a window on our most ancient past. Okay, after we finish listening to the passage, now let's take some exercises. After we finish, we have exercise number two. Read and mark the sentence, the statement true or false. Read and mark the statements true or false. Now the first one is Adnan and Yasmin learned a lot about Jericho on the internet. Good, Yasmin and Adnan and Yasmin learned a lot about Jericho on the internet. Yes, it is. Yes, they are. Number two, tourists prefer to go to Jericho in the summer months. Tourists prefer to go to Jericho in the summer month? No. And the third one, a lot of people of Jericho live in hotels. People live in hotels. A lot of people of Jericho live in hotels. That's wrong, of course. And number four, the ancient city of Jericho is more than 11,000 years old. Yeah, that's true. Because they are, it is more than. Number five, there are windows in the ancient walls of Jericho. That's wrong. Thanks for attending our English class. This is Elias with you. Thank you and goodbye.